Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue version. Thought you, we were done with just the league? Nah, not even close. You know, after you beat the league, you're pretty much sent back here to your house in Pout Town. And unfortunately, my team is still up. Actually, the only tsunami really took any damage during the, the Elite Four, so I'll just heal them all. Besides, they did use up their moves quite a bit, so... Now we're going to go on to something that I like to call the Legendary Hunt. Pokemon are living things. If they get tired, give them a rest. It's basically where I go around the region and seek out all the legendary Pokemon in the game. And I've got more than enough uh, Ultra Balls to last me the entire trip. However, I need a Pokemon that can fly in my party, because none of them know fly. And we've got four Pokemon to capture. And then the Pokedex and this LP will be complete. So let's just go to the PC and grab myself a uh, flying Pokemon. Oh, and there's now the option to see your Pokemon League status there. Hmm. I'll put uh, Star Power in there. Let's see. Ah, here's Super Speed. Uh. There we go. Hold on, do I have any escape ropes? Because I think I'll be needing at the very least four of them. Just making some preparations. Let's see. I'm definitely going to need the Master Ball. Eventually. Huh, I don't have escape ropes. Okay, well that's good to know, because that means I can just go and buy some. Considering I think I, I sold off all my escape ropes earlier on, and this place does not sell any. Okay, you know what, I think the Pokemon League has escape ropes. I mean, they have everything there. Aside from Master Ball. Oh well. And, uh, let's see... I don't have escape rope. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, where can I get escape ropes in stores? Uh, I'll check Lavender Town real quick. Then, if they don't have any, I'll go to Saffron. Uh, not that good of a start, actually, right here. I probably should have gotten these off screen, but whatever. Ah, here we go. Gonna need four at the very least. So now, time to head back to Fuchsia. Yeah, we're going all over the place here. And, uh, hold on. Do I have anything with strength? Oh, yeah, yeah. My uh, starter has strength on him. So, let's get surfing, if I have anything with surf. Oh wait. Oh, that's what star power was there for. He has surf. Jeez, I'm going back and forth a lot <laughs> right now. <laughs> and not doing any searching for legendaries at all. Oh well. Uh, let's see. At the very least, with I think escape rope, it takes you back to the, uh, um, last Pokemon Center you were in, so that there is pretty good for me. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be needing my Jinx for this, because she's gonna be coming in handy here. Let's see, down Star Power and... Max Repel. Just to keep all the lower-leveled Pokémon away 
for a quick and easy trip over to the Seafoam Islands, which is our first stop. You know, it goes a lot quicker when you don't have all those random encounters, even though when I originally went to over here the first time around, I encountered barely any wild Pokemon. All the encounters were just trainers. Uh, Seafoam Islands. This place requires strength to get through the entirety of it. And it's quite a big area, and you need... To to push these boulders down holes. Okay, let me your strength, Tsunami. So yeah, this is probably the biggest strength puzzle that we'll have to be doing here. And it's for good reason, actually. There's a water current on the bottom floor of this cave. And it's very strong. Strong enough to push you away down to the basement. Uh, let's see. Strength again. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get over there to that side. Uh, what's over here? Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Found a nugget without even trying. Hmm. Okay. I'm not really interested in the wild Pokemon here. Oh. Hmm. This here is the water that has a strong current, by the way. Whoa, a max elixir! Wow. Very nice. Nope, no item in that one. <laughs> That would have been too convenient, I suppose. Move that boulder out of the way, so then you can get the one that was next to it down the hole. And really, these two boulders are the only ones that are really necessary. The others... You can do this without the other two boulders, really. So, I'm not actually sure why I was even trying to go down there. See? This is, uh, where I needed to go. And make sure that you have a Pokémon that you want to use here for this. Uh, I'm gonna swap out to Lola and save my progress. This is the first of the legendary Pokémon, by the way. And it is the legendary ice-type bird, Articuno. And the only way to catch these things is by weakening them and basically also inflicting a status ailment on them. Which, in this case, I'm gonna try to freeze it, which makes it the easiest to catch, because otherwise then It'll just still be able to fight back. Oh, crud. Uh, <laughs> uh, do I have any moves that can, uh, no, I don't. Darn it. Nope. All I have are offensive moves now. Crud. <laughs> Oh man, this is not good. You know what? I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm gonna try to catch it. Nope. And it's too weak for me to, uh. to, um. use any items or any attacks on without doing damage that would cause it to be knocked out, so I'm just gonna have to reset and try again. Oh well. Okay, Articuno, let's try this again. It's kind of funny that <laughs> when I played this in red, I caught him very easily. <sighs> let's hope that I can at 
the very least, freeze this bird. Which is kind of funny considering it's an ice type, and yeah, it can get frozen. Well, that didn't go quite as I was hoping. Uh, okay, resetting. Darn it! This is not going as I was hoping it would. Uh. Okay. Come on. Third time's the charm, hopefully. <laughs> but then again, moves like, uh... Ice Beam and Ice Punch have a small chance of freezing, so yeah. And confusing it won't work. Yeesh! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! A super critical! Come on. Nope, I'm not gonna catch it this time either. Resetting. Gee, that's three times now that I've tried to catch it. Huh. <coughs> okay. Come on, Articuno. I just want to stuff you into something the size of a baseball. Is that so bad? I could use my Master Ball on it. What? How did that survive even better than before with a Super Critical then? Yeah. Never mind. And it's too weak to freeze now. So, resetting yet again. Jeez, this is getting kinda annoying. I got off lucky in red. You know what? Uh, let's see. I think Bolt has Body Slam. So, I'm gonna say if this switch up. And this way, I might be able to do some good status like paralysis. It won't make it completely immobile, but it'll still do something. Come on, Body Slam! It didn't paralyze. But then again, paralysis is only an added effect. But if it manages to freeze me... Yes! That's much better. Let's see. Ah, oh, man, I still miss. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, crud. Uh, <laughs> quick attack. That's my weakest move that I know of. Yeah, okay. I, I was kind of hoping that Bolt went faint there, but whatever. He did, but... At the very least, Articuno is paralyzed. What? How did I miss? It's paralyzed and at very low HP. Let's try again. Nope. Come on, fully paralyzed bird. All my shots at this are missing. Okay, maybe I... Yeah. Wait, what's my weakest move here? Earthquake won't do anything, Strength is probably too strong, Bubble Beam, same, and Hydro Pump, same. Uh, huh. I know this is probably a bad idea to send out Jackie Chan. Okay, only because it has Peck, that's why I think it's a bad idea. Uh, Mega Punch? Darn it, this thing is putting up a fight. Jeez! Hmm, okay, star power? <laughs> uh, let's see how horn attack does. Okay, that's too much damage. How many times have I had to reset now? Because, at this rate, I don't know if I'll be able to catch him in this video. Because I also want to catch his... a second legendary in this video as well. 
But the rate that I'm going at it, it doesn't seem like it's going to work. Yeah, I'm, go I'm going back to freezing. Because that's the most reliable status ailment as far as making it catchable goes. Due to past experience. I still have Blizzard in reserve. It's kind of, it is ironic that ice types can get frozen in this game, but not in all the others. Yeesh! Ah, crud, I don't think I'll be able to catch it. Nope. If this freezes Lola... Okay, good, it didn't freeze her. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna have to reset this again. Jeez. Come on, let's get through here. Uh, I should probably resave the uh, roster switch up. You know, I'm, I'm gonna try using Blizzard on it and see how well that goes over. Because that does have a chance of freezing, I think. I think. I'm not entirely sure, but it's... There's a possibility. And of course it hits on the first try. Of course I got a super crackle! Ugh. Oops. Oh crud. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> yeah, this is proven to be difficult here. Go! Let's see if I can't catch this thing. I'm hoping that Blizzard will not knock it out this time. Come on, Blizzard. You're a strong move, and I don't want you to crickle, and I know that you might have the possibility of freezing, but it doesn't look that way. You what with that blizzard, and I don't think this ice punch will- Ah! Crud. I have to reset again. Man, this video is gonna be full of me resetting this one battle, and Arcana is supposed to be the easiest of the three to catch. Yeah, I wish I had the same luck that I did in red, of catching it in one ball. Then again, I had Toxic on my side there, and I don't have it on my side now. So I think I got rid of the Toxic TM in the, at, at the League. Come on. Hmm. Oh well, at least it didn't freeze Lola, because otherwise then that would have been kind of bad. That's the problem with this game. I... <laughs> this is just getting annoying. <laughs> I don't know whether or not I should cut stuff out from this video, but I'm really tempted to just leave everything in raw. Including that little slip-up where I moved the uh, game window out. The area where the recording window is. <laughs> I think that did more than half of its HP meter that time. Tried. Yeah. <sighs> Up to what, 10 resets now? Come on, I don't want to be doing this all hour long. Because I have three other legendaries to encounter, and you're just the first of them, Articuno. Sure, you may be a majestic bird of ice, but that doesn't excuse the fact that you're taking forever to catch, especially when you're the easiest of the three birds to catch. Oh, come on, why couldn't they have frozen it as well, alongside that super critical? Eh... Uh, I'll try the Ultra Ball. Nope. 
But, you know what, just to test it out, I'm gonna see whether or not the Master Ball will work. I'm pretty sure it will, but... Just gonna see. Yes, it does. It's designed to, but... That, I'm not keeping. Because I used the Master Ball, which I'm saving for the last of the legendaries in this game. Which is not Articuno, this is just the first of the four legendaries. I also not including Mew, because I'm not getting that in this LP. I already got it in red, and that was kind of like a one-off thing there. So it's not like I can do that the Mew glitch anymore now in this game. I've already defeated all the trainers that can possibly be cause of it. Whoa, this thing's got some good defenses on it this time. That means it can resist quite a few ice punches. Oh, maybe not. Okay, ice punch is considerably- ah! Weaker than ice beam, but not that time. Yeah, crud, 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 crud. This might have to be two recording sessions at this rate. And I've already saved my progress right in front of the bird. So yeah, there's no going back for me now. I can't redo the intro to this the first part where I described the legendary hunt. Holy crud! Ah! I don't know why I'm trying to catch it when it doesn't even have a status sailment on it. And paralysis didn't work. The only other status sailment that I can possibly do to it is burn, but that's kind of unreliable and from both fire punch on... Jackie Chan and Uncle Magma's Fire Punch and Flamethrower. So yeah. Plus those moves are super effective. But then again, so is Ice Beam and Ice Punch, so I suppose it doesn't really matter. But still. Eh, but Burn does continuous damage as the fight goes on. That's why I don't want to do that. Because otherwise then it might get knocked out while I'm trying to capture it. And that second Ice Punch is always doing more damage than the first. Why is that? Hmm? And there we go again. Yet another knockout. Yeah, I'm just gonna try it, just for kicks. I'm gonna send Uncle Magma out there and use Fire Punch, just to see if I'll get any better results, because I think Burn might be able to be doable. Okay, Uncle Magma, it's your turn to shine. Uh, let's go with Fire Punch. Okay. Nope, no burn. Let's try a second Fire Punch and hope we don't get a super critical. Of course, just a regular super effective defeats it. And that's what happens when they defeat are defeated. They disappear forever. But not unless you save in front of them and don't save afterwards. Yeah. yeah, I'm getting kind of tired of seeing that whole Squirtle thing right there. So yeah. Maybe I should just cut to when I actually catch this thing. Because <laughs> at this rate, it's gonna take me- it's already taken me the entire video just I already spent most of the video just trying to catch this thing. I think... Ugh. It's at practically 1 HP now. Now, <laughs> you'd think that that would allow it to be catchable. Nope. No dice that time. Uh, 
You know what? Actually, I think I will uh, try freezing it off screen and then I'll come back on screen with it frozen. Okay? How's that sound? Sound good? See you then. Okay, after about an hour later, I found out that you actually can catch this thing when paralyzed. It just takes a while. You just have to get lucky. That's all. Come on, I'm... So now is the part where you have to keep chucking Ultra Balls at it until it actually catches or goes into the ball. And there goes Bolt. I'm gonna send out Star Power. No, 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 don't attack it. Come on. Yeah, Peck isn't gonna do that much to Star Power, and neither will Ice Beam. See? Oh, jeez. But that did do kind of a bit of damage there. Come on, quit missing. And stop being not fully paralyzed. Darn it. There we go. There we go, and now Articuno is finally caught. Ah, uh, that took me way too long. It's a good thing that I cut out all the failures that I did from then on. Articuno, the freeze Pokemon, a legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear to doomed people who are lost in icy mountains. Now I don't want to give it a nickname. And with that, I'm gonna save. Ugh. I went in there with, like, 52 Ultra Balls. I have 43, so I took- used up about, about 9. Okay, where's that escape rope? There it is. Let's get out of here. Wait a minute, what? Why am I back? Oh, it takes you back to the last place that you healed at. Well, that's kind of cruddy, actually. Because I needed to be back at Fuchsia. Since that actually had a Pokemon Center with a PC that I could get my Pokemon back from. Oh, oh well, I can just cut through Viridian, or Route 1 and get Super Spear back into my party from the Viridian City Pokemon Center, but looks like I'll be getting the other three Pokemon in the next episode. What? I have a repel up. I'm pretty sure I had a max repel up, and that, uh, uh, never mind. I'm not even gonna question it. It's probably because of how many times I had to reset, it probably forgot that I had a repel up. <sighs> Let's put, uh, Jackie Chan in. He's not gonna be of any help in here, actually. Come on out, Super Spear. I'm at, at the very least, I'm just going to head up on over to uh, Cerulean City. Oh, I need something to cut. That'll be off screen, of course. I don't want to bore you. And I'll meet you at the Pokemon Center by the Rock Tunnel in the next video, okay? So I suppose I'll see you then. But hey, one. Bird, one legendary bird caught after an hour. That's pretty good. <laughs>